All right, everyone. Welcome to our market overview. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, what we do here is we look at the index along with the other sectoral indices from a higher time frame perspective. The purpose of this exercise is number one to give us a bigger picture approach sa pagtetrade natin or pag-establish ng bias. And number two, to possibly lend confluence or credence sa mga trade ideas or thesis na meron tayo sa mga individual stocks na naiisip natin. Okay? So as always, we'll start off with the PSEI. Now, last week wasn't a great week for the PSEI. Uh, dito sa weekly chart, makikita nyo, we more or less came back dito sa level of support natin at 6.9, no? Yung sinasabi natin na at least from the weekly perspective, ayaw nating mabasag. Kasi right now, kung titignan natin, di ba, we are still trapped within this range. Yes, last week's candle was vicious, napakapangit tignan. But in the grand scheme of things, sa bigger picture, we are still stuck within this range. So again, from a weekly perspective, if we break beneath tong 6.9, then we open ourselves up na matamaan tong mga lows na naiwan natin from before all the way down hanggang 6,080. Tapos kung mabasag naman natin tong 7,552 to the upside, then we open ourselves up na mabalikan tong mga highs na naiwan from before all the way hanggang 8.4. Okay? However, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at it from a daily perspective para lang mas meron tayong clearer na picture, no? Now, if you can remember from our last discussion, ang sabi natin was, from the daily perspective, I really didn't want to see it cross itong 7172 na level. And in fact, yung first time na trinay natin bumaba, that support level held. Nagkaroon tayo na reaction and we almost filled the gap that was created from the open of this candle, di ba? Unfortunately, that was short-lived. The next day, gap down na naman. And then we've remained within the bounds of this lower range between 6.9 and 7.2. So what does this lead me to potentially believe? No? Ang iniisip ko ngayon na baka hindi pa talaga ready yung index whether it's because of uh, global events or whatever other uncertainties na meron tayong nangyayari ngayon. Baka mas tak muna tayo talaga dito sa wider range na to. Yes, we can segment it. Yes, it's range tradable that way. But in the bigger picture, diba, which is yun naman yung goal natin sa mga market overviews natin, hanggang hindi nababasag tong 6.9, yes, it's not looking as bullish as before, but it could still potentially be considered as ranging. Okay? Now, kung nabasag tong 6.9, yung next level of support natin dito sa daily will be tong 6.7. Nag-iwan tayo ng lows dito, diba? followed by itong mga lows from ano uh, dito sa baba between 63 and 62 and then finally yun nga yung 6080.94 okay so para maging bullish to ulit what we want to see is ma-reclaim natin sana agad tong 72 mag-fill yung gap tapos after ma-fill yung gap hindi mag-strong rejection meaning mag-hold na tayo dito sa upper bound ng range na to for me pag ganon din at least some type of bullishness is coming back kasi kung hindi Kung kunwari sabihin natin, we go up, mauntog, to shoot down lang agad, then that more or less confirms na either pa bearish na tayo, or yun nga, talagang dito na tayo sa wide range muna, mai stock pang samantala. Alright? Now, tignan po natin yung FINA. Now, yung FINA, the last time we discussed this, maganda pa yung chart niya eh. So, last week, uh, ganun din. We broke beneath tong previous level of resistance. di ba? Tapos, binalikan natin tong area of support na sabi natin, pabalik hanggang dito sa area of uh, demand, no? Tapos, doon tayo nakahanap na reaction and we pushed higher. Now, it's still not out of the woods. Yes, it's good that we got that reaction. But what we want to see dito sa FINA moving forward is ma-reclaim tong 1,672 sooner rather than later para makabalik tayo dito sa range na iniwan natin nung nalaglag tayo. So, pwedeng makabalik tayo sa 1,672 hanggang 1,771. Okay? Tapos kung mabasag natin yung 1,771, then that opens up this wider range above. However, kung hindi nating ma-reclaim tong 1,672, let's say it comes back, mauntog, rolls over, then baka mangyari na is balikan natin yung support dito sa baba at 1,565 all the way hanggang dito sa 1,511. Tapos kung mabasag pa natin yan, we'll discuss more then, okay? No sense working ourselves into a frenzy, magpapanig tayo sobra for something that has not happened just yet. 
Alright. Uh, next, tignan natin yung Indu, no? So, tong Indu, medyo pumangit na talaga. So, we were ranging here. Nag-break up. At the time we were discussing this, sabi natin, ang ganda, tuloy-tuloy, di ba? Tapos nauntog tayo dito sa upper bound ng resistance, upper resistance area. Tapos nag-range tayo dito. So, nag-form tayo ng resistance and support areas dito sa upper and lower bounds natin, di ba? Between 9,830 to 10,065. Tapos yung upper bound is 10,900 hanggang 11,168. Last week's candle, binasag natin yung buong area of support. Wala man lang pahipahinga. <laughs> okay? So, ang iniingatan ngayon natin dito, okay, yung bearish scenario, we test it from underneath. This previous support area holds, becomes resistance. Then we roll down, breaking beneath yung low ng week na to, which is now 9,462. Kasi kapag ganon, then odds are babalikan natin yung support at 8,944. Plus, ang magiging itsura niya, parang medyo awkward looking na head and shoulders pattern. Okay? Kung bullish naman tayo dito, what we want to see is ma-reclaim tong lower support area na to. ba? I-reclaim siya. Price comes up, tests it, holds, tapos bumalik muna tayo sa range natin from before, between yung pinag-usapan natin kanina ng 9,800 to 10,000 hanggang yung 10,900 to 11,100. Okay? So, yun yung tinitingnan ko na potential bullish scenario dito sa Indu. Will that happen or will we fall to the downside? Again, no one really knows, no? A lot of things have been happening for the past three years that, for me personally, in my lifetime, have been unprecedented. Yung hindi ko na-experience, at least not in that particular manner, yung global effect or yung global impact niya. Not just economically, but yung lives talaga ng mga tao all over the world, no? So, for me... It's not prudent to just, ah, hindi, speculate natin ganito, assume natin ganyan. Diba? I would rather just wait and see and then react accordingly rather than trying to force my view or force my beliefs onto a market that simply does not care. Right? Uh, next, tignan po natin yung prop, no? So yung prop, last week we were saying na we wanted to see it hold above here. Na mag-hold na tayo sana within that range between 3,450 hanggang 3,630. Unfortunately, hindi kinaya. No? In fact, we gapped down and then stayed down. Diba? So ilang beses na violate tong level na to. It wouldn't surprise me na by the time our next market overview video comes around, wala na yung level na yan sa usapan. Kasi ilang beses siya na violate on both sides. Eh. Okay? So from here, Maaari, dahil ang puro chop lang yung nangyari dito, maaaring gumulo na naman yung price within this area. Will it fill up the entire range? I don't know. Sobrang choppy talaga na nangyari before. Eh. May chop tayo even from here, 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 here. So it wouldn't surprise me kung ganun naman, gumulo na naman yung price. As long as we stay beneath itong 3,452 na level natin, if we can stay above it firmly and start holding above it for a prolonged period of time, then yes, pwede nating balikan tong 3,637. But for me, right now, it's not looking very bullish. Yes, it's nice na it didn't close beneath the low of this candle. In fact, it swept yung lows natin. But overall, it's not the best. So baka maganda eh, maging mas cautious muna tayo. Temper our expectations. Okay? Uh, kung sakali man na hindi siya bumalik sa ganitong itsura, sa ganitong type of shop, then we can start looking at potential property stocks that we can possibly jump into. Alright? Uh, next, tignan po natin yung mining. No? Now, itong mining, kung titignan nyo, so, again, parang paint by the numbers minsan, no? we came up in the scandal last week, tagged yung resistance natin, tapos this week, we tried to push higher, na untog lang tayo do sa upper resistance that we discussed, Tapos, nag-close tayo actually beneath etong resistance na nag-hold last week. So, parang kumuha lang siya ng liquidity, tapos binentahan din. Okay? Now, for me, that looks quite bearish, no? Kasi pa talagang kinuha mo yung high, di ba? Kinuha mo yung high, pinaasa mo yung mga tao, then binentahan mo, eh. Okay? So, Para maging bullish ulit, it's no longer enough para sa akin na ma-reclaim tong 13,584. Pag itong particular chart, I'm not talking about a particular stock, ha? Ito lang, ito mismo, itong chart na to. I want to see it reclaim yung highs. Okay? Para magkaroon tayo ng konting confidence. And, prior to taking the highs, gusto ko sana makita na either mag-consume muna tayo, 
then push higher para lang meron na tayong base to work on or mag pull back tayo perhaps a flag of some type then from there push higher okay hindi na yung puro ganito lang na green 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 hindi na it needs to establish itself it needs to look strong it needs to not look over sold it not uh, overbought sorry it needs to not look overstretched okay i hope that makes sense no now Let's say na magpatuloy naman yung bearishness. Mabasag natin tong previous support natin at 12.4. Okay? Pag nabasag yung 12.4, then baka bumalik tayo sa previous range na to as price determines or as the market determines what it wants to do moving forward. However, if we delve even deeper pa, okay? Meaning, di ba lagi natin sinasabi, usually ang strong move, kinakain din ng malakas, di ba? I've showed you so many examples of that. Ito pa lang sa chart na to, meron eh. Di ba? Usually, ganon eh. So, hindi ako maugulat kung kainin siya ng mabilis. At kung mangyari man yun, then I assume, okay, syempre di natin alam kasi we don't know what the structure will look like then. But I assume that it's gonna look quite bearish moving forward. Alright? So, hopefully, ang mangyari nga is mag-consume muna tayo dito. Bumuelo muna. Then, let's see if we can push higher from there onto the upside. Retake the highs. Then, magpatuloy yung bullishness ng chart. Okay? Next, tignan natin yung hold. Now, itong holdings, uh, medyo ginagaya lang niya yung PSEI. No? Again, we are still range bound between 6,670 hanggang 7,614. And until that changes, there's really not much to discuss dito sa holdings. Kung mabasag natin tong 6,6 na area, then that opens up this range beneath from 5,850 to 6,6. But we need to be aware na may mga minor lows na nag-form dito. And I say minor just because nasa weekly tayo. I'm sure sa daily, kitang-kita yan. Tapos kung mabasag naman natin to the upside, we break above 7.6. Then that opens up this range above all the way hanggang 8,182. Okay? Now, I've also mentioned in the past na itong holdings, minsan mahirap siyang i-evaluate. Eh. Okay? Meaning... Very often, you hear from yung, your favorite brokers, your favorite uh, online teachers and such na, mura na to if you do the funda and things like that. But the problem is, yung holdings halos lagi. If you look at most of them, they'll be quote-unquote cheap. Eh. Uh, there's a reason for that. Kasi mahirap talaga siyang evaluate properly. Ang dami niyang moving parts. Okay? I'm not gonna go into yung super technical details, but... Suffice to say, marabi siyang moving parts. So, it's hard to evaluate properly. So, it's not one of my favorite areas <laughs> to put my money in. But, for now, at least, we are still ranging. So, if you are a range trader, tapos meron kayong setup na makita dito, then by all means, no, go ahead, take it. Basta ingatan lang natin na wag natin mabasag tong support and resistance that we've identified sa chart. And then finally, let's take a look at serve. Okay. Now, etong serve, I was actually a little bit surprised. I expected this to dip deeper last week. Meaning, I expected na mabasag tong support natin at around 1.9, no? Pero hindi nangyari. In fact, we're still holding above it, at least for now. Now, if mabasag tong 1.9, then again, I'm perfectly okay with it coming back to this blue zone. Tasa hanap tayo ng bullish price action here to see kung may masabayan tayong trades sa mga paborito nating stocks within this sector. Okay? So that's one possible scenario. But kung mabasag tong blue zone altogether, then for me, it's gonna look a lot more bearish. Diba? Again, with the fast move, paakainin din ng mabilis. Pag nagmukha siyang ganong bearish, then baka mas maganda, stay out muna, patience muna, hintay hanggang gumanda yung structure before jumping back in. Unless meron kayong specific na binabantayan na inaabangan nyo at a specific price, then of course, Diba? Hintayin nyo siya doon. But otherwise, baka maganda, konting patience muna. Now, of course, the opposite is also true. If we break to the upside, mabasag yung higher end ng range natin at 2062, then obviously, we establish a new 52-week highs. Diba? And then, we can come back and potentially tag yung mga highs dito na na E1 from before. Okay? So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. I hope nakatulong po ito sa inyo kahit pa paano, no? And as always, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really, really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading.